who backpacks with a cot? Hey guys, this is JK is Hiking, where we are all about backpacking, hiking, and gear. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that notification bell so every time one of these videos comes out, you get a notification that it's happening. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's probably going to lose me some street cred when it comes to ultralight backpackers. A couple of weeks ago, I did my three things I would never go ultralight for, and I kept talking about the Helinox Chair Zero, but instead, I was holding up this thing. Well, subscriber Michael Boris asked if I would go ahead and do a review on this thing. This is the Helinox Light Cot. And I have to be honest with you, uh, when I said I was going to do a video about backpacking with a cot, I can tell you some friends of mine thought I was a little bit off my rocker. Let me start off with the specs on this thing. The Helinox Light Cot weighs in at just 2 pounds and 13 ounces, and it actually packs down to about 5 inches by 21 inches, and it holds up to 265 pounds. The fabric is made of a 600 weave ripstop polyester nylon. It's really easy to set up, and uh, it's super light. All of the poles and legs are made with a DAC aluminum, which is able to hold a lot of weight while remaining extremely light. Assembled, it's 23 and a half inches wide. It sits about five inches off the ground and it's 73 inches long. So if you're six foot five, this is not the cot for you. If your height is anywhere between five foot seven and six feet tall, this cot is fantastic and it's extremely comfortable. You don't need a pad with this thing. If you like to sleep on a firmer mattress, it is so incredibly comfortable. And I can promise you, you're gonna get a great night's sleep. Whenever I talk to hammock campers, the reason that they hammock camp is because they just get a better night's sleep. This cot will help you get a better night's sleep. So now on to the big question. How is it possible to consider yourself a lightweight backpacker and backpack with a two pound and 13 ounce cot. Check this out. When I'm backpacking in the summer in the state of Kentucky, temperatures will get up into the 90s during the day and no lower than 70 degrees at night. When you think about that, there's a lot of gear you don't have to bring to backpack in the summer in Kentucky. Let's just name a few things real quick. Typically I use the mass drop Revelation Quilt by Enlightened Equipment. It weighs about 22.1 ounces. Well, in the summer, I don't need a 20 degree quilt when it's 70 degrees at night. It's just a little bit of overkill. Yes, I can pull it off and let myself breathe and all that, I get that, but it just gets really warm. So instead, I bring my Aegis Max lightweight sleeping bag. It weighs in at 14.4 ounces. It actually saves me almost eight ounces of weight half a pound just in my sleeping bag. Like I said earlier, when I'm sleeping on a cot, I don't need a sleeping pad. Typically when I'm backpacking, I'm using my Nemo Tensor insulated sleeping pad. This thing weighs 15 ounces. But if I'm using a cot, I don't need it. That's 15 ounces I don't have to use or have in my backpack. I also have a down beanie that I like to have with me to sleep in at night because I get a little cold around my ears, but in the summer, that's just not gonna happen. So that's another ounce out the door. Another thing I don't need when I'm backpacking in the summer is my base layer. Seven ounces, eight ounces. Don't need them, it's another 15 ounces. When it's 70 degrees at night and 90 degrees during the day, I don't need a puffy jacket. This is my Patagonia Nano Puff. I take this out on pretty much every trip I do except when it's in the heat of the summer here in Kentucky. That's 12 ounces of weight I don't need to bring with me. When you add that all up, that's 50.7 ounces. In other words, 3.17 pounds. Guess what weighs less than 3.17 pounds? The Helinox Light Cot. So now you see, it might not be as crazy as you think it is 
to bring this guy in the summer when you're backpacking. This thing weighs two pounds and 13 ounces, which is less than 3.17 pounds. The other thing about this cot that's so great, and you don't realize it until you're sleeping in the hot, muggy weather, because you can't downplay humidity in the summer in the southern states. And I'm not even in the deep south. If you're somebody who lives in Alabama or Mississippi or you live down in Georgia, you understand humidity probably better than I do. But one thing that's great at night when you're sleeping on this thing, it sits five inches off the ground. That allows for breezes to get underneath the cot, which actually keeps your underside nice and cool on those hot nights. Now, like I said, I'm not taking this out with me every single time I go backpacking. This is literally a hot weather option for me. I love it because I sleep cooler at night with it. I sleep more comfortably with it. And when it's hot and muggy, being comfortable and staying cool really, really matter. How about you? Would you ever hike with a backpacking cot? Does that just sound absolutely crazy to you? Or maybe have I shifted your mind just a little bit? Uh, either way, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll be talking to you guys next time.